So, uh, yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my name is VizXBL, and uh, yeah, welcome to today's video. Now, I've actually been taking a break uh, from Call of Duty for this past week, and uh, for why not make a video get back into Call of Duty? And uh, yeah, let's go. So, now I, I know the actually today they actually brought up the trailer um, for the uh, map pack and stuff, and like the zombies looks all really cool. I actually went out and bought the season pass, and uh, I heard a lot of rumors over the weekend and over the past week that um, there has been skill based matchmaking added into Call of Duty and then there was another rumor yesterday from a friend that uh, I got told that it had actually been taken out. Now today I actually jumped on it for uh, a few hours by myself and uh, I noticed that the game connection was a lot better than it used to be. Uh, the game was a lot more smoother and that's what I'm happy with and uh, what I was even more happy with is is that there was no skill based matchmaking now that is the most biggest Call of Duty killer and that is what Treyarch do not want in this Call of Duty if they wanted to last for at least you know like another two three months and um Honestly, as soon as I heard the rumor about uh, skill based matchmaking, I thought, right, Monday, if skill based matchmaking is still in the game, uh, let's just rotate them another Call of Duty. I uh, actually, you know, I was actually thinking about quitting YouTube because I didn't really see the point of actually making videos on an older game, if you know what I mean. I want to play the new Call of Duty, and uh, I thought, since, you know, I built my subscriber base on YouTube. Uh, doing Call of Duty, I thought it would be totally wrong to actually branch out to a new game. So, anyways, like off that negative sort of stuff, uh, skill based matchmaking has indeed been taken out. Uh, Vonderhaar, I think they like they realized how much they thought they fucked up because uh, me personally, I'm the type of guy to check Reddit and stuff, you know. And I uh, actually went on the Call of Duty section, and there was a lot of stuff about skill based matchmaking, and uh, everyone was going off of Vonderhaar and Treyarch as a whole studio together, and uh, the whole kill community come together making videos, you know, skill based matchmaking to remove it. It, you know it, it's not the right time you know it's a card killer and uh, I'm really happy that everyone done that and sort of got their uh, skill based matchmaking removed from the game uh, if it was actually even in and uh, Von Hart tweeted out uh, I think it was like yesterday or the day after uh, saying that uh, connection is the key to uh, matchmaking as it always should be you know what I mean I remember on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare I mean I had like a 3kd and um, towards the end of the game when I got a hacked lobby and uh, what happened was I was getting put into games with literally like three bar two bar connections with everyone else with 3kds now I'm not gonna lie these kids were obviously absolute beasts if you can keep a 3kd uh, with skill based matchmaking you know what I mean that's absolutely insane and uh, that was like a big change of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's why I actually did not play it last year. Advanced Warfare would have been an absolutely fantastic game if it was something like, you know, had like the same sort of uh, matchmaking as Black Ops 2. Uh, and I think that's where the road every single Call of Duty should go down with, you know. No like sort of skill based matchmaking. That's why you have the arena, you know, your league play um, sort of types of game modes and playlists because. The public matches are literally just for casual players and pub stompers. Pub stompers are like a different type of a casual player. Like casual players come on for a few hours, you know what I mean? Don't take the game too serious and uh, just play the game and enjoy it, you know what I mean? But a pub stomper, like a guy who plays a lot, will want to come on, literally destroy, get nuclears, destroy all the casual players and uh, get good stats, you know what I mean? But a casual player is obviously the total opposite to that. And I think that's where sort of Call of Duty is heading to right now, sort of trying to make the air. Uh, casual players better and make a make the game better for them when it's those guys you put like two hours into it don't even buy dlc uh compared to all those hardcore guys remember these guys never even mind about that because that is all fixed now so obviously i'm very happy i do think i call you black is free is going to be one of those games that is going to last for a few years until the other trail call of duty let's just hope next year infinity ward make an absolutely great game as ghost didn't really uh, make the cut for many people but yes guys thanks for watching i'm now back to youtube i was just saying a couple of days of break you know what i mean i took a week's break from call of duty and i'm back at it yes guys thanks for watching i've been vidxbl if you're new please be sure to subscribe and i'm out peace catch you guys in the next one